Hey guys, I've been publishing loads of videos recently where I am predicting what's going to come up in this year's exams and this has led loads of you to ask whether my predictions are any good or not. So, are they any good or not? Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't any good. The only real way you can see whether they're any good is going to look at my 2016 predictions, look at the 2016 papers and compare how well I did. Because sometimes I was bang on, sometimes I got every single thing correct and sometimes I didn't because these are just predictions. I cannot see into the future. I am not an examiner. I do not have any insider secrets. All I've done is sat down with the last year's papers and the year before that papers, sat down with the specification and thought, what do they ask questions about that they didn't ask about last year? What might come up this year? Because generally they don't ask the same questions two years in a row. They might like skip a year or if, um, looking at the examiner's reports, if they asked a question last year that like basically loads of people didn't do very well on, they will re-ask it again this year um, and that will be from the examiner's reports. So I'm not just completely making stuff up here, these are, I'm going to call them educated guesses, but they are still educated guesses. So please, please, please make sure you use everything, um, make sure you revise everything, don't just base your revision on my predictions videos because I could be completely wrong and if I'm completely wrong I'm really really sorry um, but I've provided loads and loads of other resources for you to go and do loads and loads of revision so like the whole topic videos um, like the quick fire questions, the hardest questions over my website, the revision guide which is free, loads and loads of flashcards over my website for you to download so you don't have to make them yourself. Um, I am trying to do as much as I can to make you getting a good grade as easy as possible.